we don't have to have the sets to every single thing even though we want to Back to my channel my name is Kayla if you're new I film hygiene fragrance and lifestyle related videos so if that's something you're into make sure you like comment and subscribe also hit those post notification bells so you always know when I upload a new video make sure you follow me on Instagram at just Kayla Michelle and give me a like on Facebook by the same name so in today's video as you can see by the title I am going to be showing you how I get my late summer glow and this is basically for anyone that wants soft glowing skin and you're just trying to catch those late August rays and you still want to look a little glowy this routine literally will work for any time of the year because who doesn't want to glow like who why why wouldn't you want to glow even if it's the dead of winter time we still want to walk past and blind people with our soft supple skin so if you want to see how i got this shine here just keep watching so guys first off of course we want to start off in the shower and that is where you know we start our nice glow and everything so this is basically like a self-care routine self-care saturday you can do this on sunday or any day of the week that you really want to do your self-care what i start out with and this has nothing to do with my body it's pretty much like my face but i do use my timmy superfood cleanser to start out with as you can see it's about time to get some more because i am almost out and no this video is not in collaboration with anybody or is sponsored by anyone or whatever this is literally the stuff that i do use yes they have sent me this stuff but i do actually use it so i like this cleanser because it's really not thick at all it has a nice like if you can see it almost looks kind of watery but it's really great for the summertime because it has all those nice antioxidants in it when i use it it makes my skin glow and i really like that i start off with this because it's not doing too much at all today as well i did want to go ahead and use my timmy De detox mask and this is the green tea blend so i did go ahead and use this today because i wanted to shrink the appearance of my pores because my skin has been going through it lately and i've been trying to like get rid of my acne marks and my breakouts and things like that so this is what it looks like on the inside so this is a mask that you can use for a detox treatment you can use this for a spot treatment or you can use it all over like i did so this does help to reduce the appearance of blemishes and it helps to get the impurities out of your pores i have a person with large pores so i need stuff to pull those impurities out to make them look a little small when your pores are large like that most of the time they have things inside of them that need to be cleared out and some of us just naturally have large pores which is okay because we are human and that is what real skin sometimes looks like some people are blessed to have small pores but for those of us that need a little extra help masks like this that have like bentonite clay in them you can also use the indian healing clay which is another one i absolutely love that'll help to you know clear your skin up especially those of us with oily skin and that is pretty much the reason why our pores look so enlarged because we're pumping out all that oil and then sometimes the oil gets clogged up in there and we just need a little help to get the excess out that's pretty much it for skincare what i use today for my body wash um i did start off with just like a regular bar soap to do my base clean or whatever and i guess i'll do it in the order that i do things in so i do my base clean with my washcloth and then i went in today with the dove brown sugar and coconut butter because this is like a warm routine so this is what i used for my exfoliation today i really like this hopefully it doesn't, it doesn't get all over the place but that's how much i've used of this so far this has been one of my favorite dove scrubs and it just it smells really nice it has a nice consistency it does not dry you out it's actually moisturizing so and dove products now have been you know putting on the side how coarse the exfoliation is so this one is a three on their exfoliation scale yeah so this one is a three on their exfoliation scale so it does give you a more abrasive scrub so this is really gross but it's time for me to get some new gloves but i do use exfoliating gloves whether i'm using the dove body polish or i'm using my tree hut scrubs or anything like that so you can use these to give you a little bit of a deeper exfoliation especially if you are someone that does not like abrasive scrubs like tree hut 
that will help you to penetrate a little deeper and to get that excess dead skin off so i did also after i exfoliated i went ahead and shaved so i don't do really anything special with shaving i just have my little target i think it's a three or four blade razor and i just use some shaving cream and shave my legs or anything else that needs to be shaved but what i will say like for your underarms i do exfoliate under my arms because i am actually trying to lighten them up I don't have to shave my underarms as often as I have to shave my legs. Under my arms, like the hair does not grow back fast at all. Or on my arms, it doesn't grow back fast. So I don't really worry about that unless I really have to. I can go a while without shaving my underarms, but I still do exfoliate and everything just to make sure I'm getting off that deodorant residue or anything that I might have built up under there, like dead skin and any stench and odor that might get trapped in there. I like to exfoliate to try to get rid of all that. So that's what I do. And then for body wash, today I use the Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash. And this is an in the scent Decadent Aroma. So this is like a moisturizing body wash. And of course, Bath & Body Works has a lot of moisturizing body washes as well. When you're trying to retain moisture and you're trying to get that soft and glowy look, I would highly recommend you use something creamy like this. And Dove actually is another brand that is really nice with the moisturizing properties. I don't tend to have this problem, but I know a lot of people say that the Bath & Body Works shower gel does dry them out. So um, I really like their moisturizing body washes because they are very nice and creamy. And especially those of you who have probably overly dry skin, that helps to lock in some of that moisture. So you don't have to do so much work when you get out of the shower and you don't feel like sandpaper because you've used the shower gel. So this is actually not very easy to find. I did actually order this off Amazon and it was about 11 bucks. But to me, this has like a nice vanilla cupcake scent. To me, this smells so amazing, especially in the shower when you are actually lathering up with this body wash. This is so good and it really makes me feel like, you know, I'm actually locking in moisture and doing something good for my skin. So another thing, this is like extra exfoliation. So feel free to skip this part if you have really sensitive skin. But I did start using this African washcloth or Egyptian washcloth or exfoliating washcloth, whatever you want to call it because I have seen it called all three things. This is pretty much like a loofah, but not. Like it's like a, a cloth like loofah, like a loofah that's like spread out. So what I will say, I did just start using this and it kind of hurts i guess you get used to it but i will say when after i use it like my skin felt so very soft and i know that's because it's like for more exfoliation but what i like about this especially especially even if you don't use this all over your body this is really good to get your back so you can make sure that you are evenly getting your back all over so you can kind of go side to side like this and then that helps you with your back acne so that you don't have any bacteria or anything you know trapped up in there giving you pimples on your back so i got a two pack from burlington and it was fairly cheap i will say that it probably was not more than five dollars i just don't really remember right now but like i said use that with caution because it does kind of hurt and it is kind of abrasive but i can say i felt the difference even before i used my scrub yesterday um because yesterday was not the day that i used my scrub today was I felt really soft getting out the shower just using that but I just made sure that I rubbed really gently because my skin it's like it can take a lot but sometimes it does feel sensitive if I am doing a lot to it so make sure if you know that's something that you struggle with you just be really careful but of course most of us are adults here and we can discern what's good for our skin and what's not so you can take anything I say as well as any other creators with a grain of salt. Just take what works for you and implement it into your self care. Of course, nothing I'm saying is something that you have to do. You may feel like it's wrong or no, I don't do it this way. I don't do it that way. That's fine because we all do things differently, but it's very nice to get ideas from others and bounce off of each other and you know, just try to implement some new things that we may not have tried before and so i'm not going to get into my whole like hygiene routine because of course i do other things in the shower as well but as far as for my glowy skin part that is all i do in the shower so now we're going to talk about what we do when we get out the shower so of course i put my toner on my face and right now i'm just using the thayer's rose water toner and i just put that on i put on my eye gel and then i just go in with my moisturizer 
So this was something that was actually sent to me to review. So this is the Urban Skin RX Shine Block Oil Control Moisturizer. And this is what this looks like. I think it's really cute and sleek. I believe Urban Skin RX is actually sold in Target and it may be sold in Ulta as well. So I like this because it does have um, SPF 30 sunscreen in it. And it also has 11.6 uh, percent zinc oxide so i'm an oily person and also i also suffer from like skin issues and things like that so this being mattifying and helping me not look like a complete oil slick is a great thing for me so i will make sure i link everything i can down below so that if you want to shop you can the only thing that if you shop um that i will get any commission for is anything that's listed in my amazon store and anything that you buy from timmy blends from my links that will give me a commission so just full disclosure so you know what you're clicking on so unless i disclose it below i'm not getting any commission off of it unless explicitly stated now that we have our face all taken care of we're gonna go ahead and move on to our body care so today i chose like an ambery scented body routine so i am wearing my sunrise woods lotion today so i just went in with this first i was actually trying something different because usually i mix my oil with my lotion but today i just actually opted to put the lotion on first so these are the notes of this so i just wanted like a warm and cozy scent for the day so the notes are creamy sandalwood sweet berries and cozy cashmere so that's why i just chose to go with that ogx decadent aroma body wash because i don't have the matching body wash for sunrise woods but that's okay something warm like vanilla that just mixes with mixes with everything is perfectly fine we don't have to have the sets to every single thing even though we want to it's okay to use other products and then what i did personally today now this is a game changer if you don't like things um like thick and oily in the summertime this is not for you but for me i can wear this any time of year with no problem this is the johnson's shea and cocoa butter baby oil gel i like baby oil gel more than baby oil because this really clings to the skin and it really gives you a deep moisturizing feel and it gives you a nice shine to the skin so i did put this all over this actually lasts a very long time on the skin of course it does calm down and soak in throughout the day so you're not just you know sticky and oily all day long because it does actually penetrate the skin but just so i can make sure you know i get a little glitter effect i did go ahead and mix in a little bit of this eloise get gleaming body glow illuminator so this is something that i actually got from a boxy charm so i will make sure i search high and low for the link for this because i did not buy this directly this was something that came in my subscription package but this is just really pretty um i didn't put it all over i only put it on my exposed part so i did put it on my chest and shoulders i put it on my legs and my thighs and things like that i didn't you know mix it completely but you can mix it in so if you don't want something as thick as this you can just opt for the johnson's regular baby oil and this is in the scent almond i really like this one that's how much i've used of it so far so Putting this on after your lotion is a really good thing to lock in your lotion and it helps to lock in your scent of the day. So other options that you have out here, you can opt for an oil that already has shimmer in it so you don't have to do you know too much mixology if you're a person that doesn't feel like doing that because I know there are people out there that just don't want to take all those extra steps. So another good option, and I did find this at Burlington, and you may be able to still find this in Ulta, but this is the Pacifica Strawberry Peach Body Oil Shimmer. This smells so good. It smells like a strawberry peach drink. I love it, but this just gives you a nice shimmer without doing too much because I don't really like a whole lot of glitter anymore. I just like a nice little shimmer, a nice sheen to myself. And then this is also the Hibiscus Paradise Shimmer Body Oil from Bath & Body Works. This is another good one. This does have a little bit more oil than that, I mean, a little bit more glitter than that Pacifica one, but it is still very good. I just don't like like a whole bunch of glitter. I just like mostly golden tones for myself, but of course, you can do what you want to do so if you want to have more you know glitter bath and body works has some diamond uh shimmer sprays that you can spray on yourself 
they give you lots of shine <laughs> so if you are a very glittery person definitely check out their line of sprays that they have in their different scents so then of course this has nothing to do with like your summertime glow or anything like that but today's scent of the day i did like i said choose sunrise wood so i just wanted like a sweet ambery a little berry scent and then i did top that off with my aria grande cloud body mist so this was my little scent mixture of today and i will say i don't know if anybody else feels like this but with cloud and within the stars and even with my um inspired perfume by dossier the ambery saffron when i first spray them i don't like the first initial scent like it's like an astringent pungent scent but then it settles into something nice i don't know what that scent is i cannot really describe it but let me know if you kind of get that from these at first because the first spray is a little it like kind of takes you back a little bit i think it's because it's kind of like a little cologne like so it kind of takes me off guard i don't know but yeah i'll make sure that i link everything that i can down below that i mentioned in today's video if you want to try any of this stuff out for yourself so you can have that late summer glow with me and we can just be glow brothers and sisters together so if you like to see more content like this make sure you like comment and subscribe i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye